Um, you go into this game against Newcastle off the back of a, of a Leicester game, which was very much a game of two halves, I think it's fair to say. Mm. You know, the, obviously being 31-6 down at one point and coming back to getting a lunas, losing bonus point. Um, how, what, how have you interpreted that this week with the guys? Because clearly there were things that went wrong, mm. but there must have also been things that later on went right. Yeah, well, that's exactly how, what, how you've described it. It's pretty much exactly how we've, we've talked about it because that was the truth of the game. You know, if you think, I think we turned the ball over like 18 times, 19 times. Well, that basically means 18, 19 times we had the ball and we gave the ball away. And the truth is, the three, three of the tries came directly from that exact scenario where we, we literally drop the ball and the next thing that happens is they run in a try. Well, you know, that's very much down to your attack quality and the focus of what you're trying to do when you've got the ball in hand. So we talked a fair bit about, you know, what exactly was our focus? How hard were we working to genuinely be really good at attack uh, and not just trying to manage the scenario and just keep the ball for a little bit and try and manage territory? And I think we got that a little bit wrong in the first half, attitudinally as well as anything else. And I think we addressed that quite well at half time, despite getting hit with the the, the, the try after half time. I think we dealt with that really well. Uh, and I think our actual attitude and the way we wanted to attack, the structure of our attack, our enthusiasm to be ready to play, um, you know, in all the transitions of the game was just so much better after half time. And I think once we got once we got com comfortable and confident that it was working, we were great. It was just a shame that we didn't we didn't get that uh, that composure and that confidence to play earlier in the game because I think we, if we had we'd have put Leicester under a lot of pressure but like I say because ultimately an awful an awful lot of their points have come from defensive pressure from, the, from them and attacking errors rather than us being worn down when you watch the game there's not much evidence of us being worn down in that game they kind of they're just shots out of here there and everywhere which is very clin clinical and, and is the mark of a good side don't get me wrong you know it's not it's not the mark of a poor side that they scored four pretty clinical tries mm. against us that's the mark of a very good side yeah. um, but I think overall we're a little disappointed with the level of performance we put in, and that's something you know we've, we've got to address ourselves. And I guess you address it against Newcastle this week this weekend, don't you? Well, that's the idea. I mean, the truth is, you, you know, we we can wrap it up however we like. You know, if we want to be a team that's fighting at first for first and second place in the Premiership, um, and a team have to make the longest trip in the Premiership to you, and a, and a team that are the wrong end of the table, you've got to expect to win. You know, if, if you're if you're genuinely expecting to be a first or second ranked side, these 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 kind of become must win games. Um, and that's no disrespect to Newcastle. You know, everyone's aware Newcastle are winning games of rugby now. You know, they're, mm. they're nobody's mugs, and it's going to be a tough game. But you know, we know it's going to be tough, and we're going to have to face up to a tough game, and we've got to come over the top of them and, uh, and force the win, almost whatever happens. No repeat of 41-3 this time, then. Well, who knows? You know, I, I'm, I, you can't make predictions. We wouldn't have predicted that result before the game, um, and during the game, we probably wouldn't have predicted it. You know, what it's about is it's put, about putting in that level of performance. Now, whether that results in a 41-3 victory or whether that results in a, in, a, in, a, in a comfortable win or whether it results in a tight win, um, well, we will have to wait and see. That a bit of that depends on on Falcons. All we can do is concentrate ourselves, ourselves, make sure we put in a really top fit, top intensity and physicality of, of performance and and make sure we kind of take everything away from Newcastle and make sure it's about ourselves. So Three of the next four games are at home, Rob. How, how important is that to the, the charge? Yeah, we, I, I, again, you know, I, I, yeah, you hate to talk about too far in advance, but the truth is our home form's been good. And, you, and I, I've said every, pretty much every week in, a conference, in these press conferences that our home form will, will be the foundations of everything we achieve. Um, and as I've just said, really, we've, if we want to be first or second in the Premiership, you've got to expect to win your home games at this stage of the season. So they're going to be huge fixtures for us. Um, you would like to think out of a block of three home games that we get some decent points, and we're going to have to. You know, you look at the teams around us now, the, the chasing pack is pretty tight, and there's a lot of them, and, and the points are narrowing up. Um, and ho your home wins are what will keep that gap where it needs to be. You talk about Newcastle winning games, they're going to be a much different proposition to back in November when you face oh, them. Yeah, they've got a little bit more confidence now. I mean, at the end of the day, because they picked up some wins and, and because of how things have gone and with London Irish dropping off the bottom a little bit, they can kind of come here a, a, a little bit dangerous. Really. They can come here a little bit with not, not too much to lose and really go after the game and that, that makes any team dangerous. But, but again, you know, we've, we've not really talked about that as a scenario because we want to make it about Exeter. I think the reason our home record is improving all the time is because we make it about ourselves. You know, the lads turn up and they turn up in the right frame of mind to put in a big performance. You know, it's, it's not a mystery why it happens. The players make it happen. And that's what we have to do this weekend. The players have got to turn up and they've got to make it happen.